Hi and welcome to the video. Now this time I'm going to look at using SWB Audio Capture <coughs> as a source in OBS. And it's all going to be on the fly, uh, so you're going to get this warts and all. We're going to look at it using uh, essentially a complete brand new install of OBS with no scenes and no inputs and no, no changes made to preferences at all. And go through that, uh, how I'm going to add a source into a scene. I'll also add it into a second scene. For um, input, I'm going to use uh, GarageBand. I've just got a simple drum track here, and GarageBand is configured. Let me grab that for you. It's configured to output to system setting because I'd like to show you a couple of things. So let's prove that goes. You'll probably you'll hear this just through the mic. So you'll probably hear something lightly there. Right. So to add audio <coughs> in OBS. Um, Let's go and add a source. So you do that through sources. We add one here and we say input. And then we give it a name. Um, probably a good idea to call this SWBAC. So we know what it is. And you've got to tell it what it is. And we want that one there, SWB Audio Capture. OK, right. So now I'll play the audio from GarageBand again. Notice you do not see it coming in to OBS. Bing, bing, lots of things going bing. Um, okay, so why is that? Well, it comes down to how the driver works as a pipe. If you'd like to know <coughs> a bit more specifics about it, I've done a video just on the driver, and I'll put the link uh, into the notes so you can go and have a look at that. Uh, in short, the driver has to be able to hear the audio, so we have to either have... GarageBand configured to output uh, directly to the driver, or we can change the default output. So I'm going to change the default output for the moment. Uh, it's a little easier for me. So I'll come in here and I'll use this WB Audio app because you know why wouldn't I uh, to do that? And I'm just going to enable preview. That will also but also switch the driver. You can see it over on the right hand side here. The default output device is now SWB Audio Capture. Uh, and that's why I had this dialogue running. So now, now we've got a nice little level meter over here, and that's audio into OBS. Um, I'll try and do it the direct way, just so you can see it. So I'm going to leave my speakers as my ODAC, go into Preferences for GarageBand. Of course, this is going to change depending on what app you're using. Um, and I'm going to output directly to the driver. Now that means I'm not going to hear it. Actually, I can show you something else in OBS with regard to monitoring. Okay, so I'm going to play it now. We've got audio coming in to OBS because it's going through the driver uh, and then into into OBS. That's great. Stop. Uh, but I don't hear it. So um, there's a couple of ways you can do this if you want to hear it. One is you can use OBS if if uh, <clears throat> If I can remember how. Um, let, let me muddle my way through it. I think, yeah, under advanced, and then you actually want to monitor it. So what you want to do is say, hey, we're going to receive audio SWBAC, that's cool, and I want to hear it. Um, so I want to probably monitor an output is what you want most of the time. Now, the question is, where's it going to? All right, somewhere. So now I can hear it. You may not want that if you're actually streaming and recording because you're probably hearing it on this video and uh, you really probably don't want people to be hearing it on the stream plus through your microphone so it's not always wrong one sorry it's not always what you want to do well at least with regard to monitoring to speakers is never a particularly good idea so in OBS's preferences there is a setting for that um, so I could, I don't have my headset plugged in at the moment, but if I did, <clears throat> I'd want to choose a headset so that what I'm monitoring doesn't um, play back to the main speakers and get picked up by the microphone and end up with just horrible. Okay, that's it. So we have some audio. Um, wonderful. Let, I'll just put GarageBand back to default. No, no will I? No, I'll just leave it alone. So let's go and have a look at another scene. So <clears throat> this is why I didn't set it up globally. You can. Uh, but you might not want audio in another scene. I'll just call it scene two. So let's say in this case, 
I don't want system audio coming in, then it's quite useful to set it up per scene. That way, it's not there. So, no audio in this scene, but we do have audio in that scene. Simple. By the way, if you want to set it up as a global device without having to do it per scene, if you go into ABS's preferences and look at audio, you'll see there's a bunch of global audio devices. Um, why it's chosen the lexicon, I guess it's just chosen one. So we could say, let's make, make audio 4, SWB audio capture, great. So now you'll see Mike Ox4 is in both scenes, and, and now I've got it repeated because I've got it as an input source as well as a global. Uh, so I probably don't want to do that, you know. Pick one method. You can also rename this, I believe. So we call SWB Audio Capture Input. Okay, at least we've got a nice name for that now. So I could, you know, delete this input. Yep, go away. Come back here. <clears throat> and there we have it. Yeah, same as before. Of course, the monitoring's different. So, well, different. The, mon the, the monitoring has changed because I added a different device called SWB Audio Capture Input, and it's off. That's why we don't hear it. Right, so that is audio in OBS. I'll just have a quick look at my notes and see if we've got anything else. Nope, that looks to be about it. Uh, so I hope that's been useful. Um, if you'd like to see anything else, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you're struggling with a particular thing uh, with SWB Audio Capture or SWB Audio App, again, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, see if I can do a video about it. Till next time.